You know what's cool? 200 uppers are pretty cool, but you know what's even cooler than that? Using jabs and quick pokes to condition your opponents so that you can sidestep or counter hit them. Well, 200 uppers are actually cooler. But we're not talking about those today. Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm here to talk about frames and how to use them in Tekken Neutral. The usage of frames in neutral is one of the primary conditioning tools in Tekken and in this video we're going to look at conditioning through frames and the usage of movement and frame data. For this video, I hope you already understand frame data and the basic concepts of Tekken. So let's get started. Today we'll examine Kazumi's 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, and down forward 1 pokes and the situations you can impose with just those few moves. Kazumi's 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, and down forward 1 are some of her primary poke tools. 1-1 one, one and 1-2 one, are only minus 1 on block and down forward 1 is only minus 3. So what can we do with that information? Well let's see. It's a really common tactic for Kazumi's to spam jabs and sidesteps to force the opponent to use usually slower tracking moves, hit confirming 1-1-2 one, one, while sometimes mixing in down forward 1s to keep the opponent from ducking. So let's look at what we can do with those few pokes. Since 1-1 one, one and 1-2, one, and down forward 1 as well, are almost neutral and block, sidestepping after them is a really strong tool. Sidestepping after 1-1 one, one will beat jabs, down forward 1s, hop kicks, and pretty much everything that doesn't track to that particular side. The same of course goes for down forward 1. Other options you can use other than stepping after your jab strings are to pair, do another pair of jabs. This will beat anything slower than uh, I-12 when we'll trade with I-11 moves. Other options you have are to go over crushes like for example generic down force. That will beat anything slower than 13 um, frame mid. Or do a dig jab. That will literally beat every button except for uh, the dig jab of theirs. And of course crushes. But be careful with spamming dig, dig jabs or any of these options since eating a hard read will look like this. So let's look at a few rounds and see how I use this information uh, to succeed. So, I start the match with a do while running 2. I jab, hoping him to dash in, and do a generic down 4 afterwards to get some extra damage. Because the recovery of F3 I'm afraid to do uh, to follow up to down forward 1, so I just down forward 1 and sidestep. Uh, as I go whiffs, but I fail my sidestep punish twice. Well, that's fine, I go back to neutral without taking any damage. Now I get the punish on the forward 3, uh, but I'm too greedy doing another down 4. I get punished. After managing to sire backdash his 1 plus 2, my punish is again late, but because Asuka goes for another 1 plus 2, my magic forward does beat it. So the only thing left here is to finish the combo and get right on the final mix-up. Even though I managed to fail all of my sidestep punishes there, I still managed to take the round convincingly while staying safe, because of these simple, effective pokes and the usage of magic four. So let's look at another round. I start the match with some cheese doing down back 2-3 and after whiffing a down forward 1 and backdashing I manage to land 1-2. I go for a 1-1 one, one, and then sidestep and backdash which beats his 1-1. One, one. Then I do 1-1 one, one, one of my own and hit confirm that to 2. Back in neutral I manage to block a low of his. After punishing with while sending 4-4 four, four, I do a 3-2 in the block. He doesn't duck it making it only minus 1. So my uh, magic 4 does beat his twin pistons. Again, the only thing left here is to do the combo and finish the round with few pokes. So, as we see, just with few safe moves we can do a lot of damage. And even though we looked at some of only some of Kazumi's pokes today, this applies to every character in the game and every move in the game. Figure out your follow-ups to your basic pokes and mix them up according to your, what your opponent likes to do. I hope this helps some of you intermediate players looking to turn the next page on becoming a proper Tekken pro. So stay safe, stay solid, do a crisp backdash and stay golden. Cheers guys!